Uh-oh. I think we're in trouble now, Daff. Alvin's gonna be awful mad. Yeah. I told you we shouldn't have borrowed his stuff. Maybe he doesn't even have to know. Come on, let's see if we can get it. So Billy says sister really like to meet me, huh? Boy, Alvin, why do you even waste your time thinking about girls? They're always getting in the way or messing things up. She's a classic. Oh, I don't know. She's not bad, but I wouldn't say she... I mean that rocket dummy, not Billy's sister. Hey, aren't those your colors, Alvin? I thought you were the only one in town with orange and black. Yeah, someone else has got the same shoe. Or else that is my shoot. Looks like it's gonna land over on Maple Street. Come on, Chewie. Couple more inches, Steph. I've got one foot on it. Hey, Steffi. Heads up, Steph. I gotta let you go. Oh! Hey, Steffi, where's Daffy? She, I don't know, Alvin. Well, she was here just a minute ago. Hey, Steph, what's going on? Who's up there? It's me, Daffy. What are you doing down there? Hi, Alvin. Are you all right? Yeah. These leaves and stuff are kind of stickery, but they're soft. If Dad ever knew you were playing in the storm... I'm not playing. I fell. And what are you doing monkeying around with my rockets? I told you never. Gosh, Alvin, I was playing with your rockets. I weren't bananas that came down here. I tried to get it and I fell and now I'm stuck down here and all I want to do is get out of here, Alvin. Okay, Daff, okay. Just hold a second while I get my bearings. Look, Daff, it's a cinch. Just angle off to your right and go past two more curb drains. Then turn right for one short block and you'll come out right behind Mr. Blodgett's house. And we'll be there to meet you, okay? Okay. And Alan? Yeah, Dad? I got your rocket back. Thanks, Dad. Steffi, pick up all that stuff and drop it off at my house, will you? You bet, Alvin. Come on, Chewie. Daffy's kind of scared. We better go give her a hand. See, what did I tell you? Women.
What's the matter? A man with a gun. I just saw a man with a gun. Calm down, Daffy. It's all right now. Honest, I did. I did. Sure, Daff. What was he doing in there? Hunting frogs? No. He was standing right next to me. It's all right, Daff. We believe you. Alvin, are we ever going to get to the carnival grounds or not? Yeah, right now. Here we go. You too, Daff. It'll be fun. But, Alvin, you got to believe me. I saw this guy, and he had a gun. And he disappeared into thin air, just like that. Boy, talk about cracking up. <laughs> A bundle. The cost of sugar raises the price of cotton candy. But what raises the price of a Ferris wheel ride? I don't know, but my three dollars and fifty cents isn't gonna go very far in there. I got a little more than four. I've got seventy-five cents. It's just not enough. Well, I guess it's time to pull out the old quick money maker machine. Oh no! Not again, Alvin. That thing's nothing but trouble. Look, I made a few adjustments since last time. It works great now. That's what you said last time. Come on, you'll see. We got work to do. Boy, Al, it's twice as fast as it was before, but it sure got a lot heavier. Come on, Daff, help us out. Daffy? Huh? Oh, yeah. You know, I still can't figure out with some man with a gun. We'll be sneaking Not around. Not again, Daff. You've been talking about that all day. We've got work to do. How much do we have now, Alvin? Six dollars and fifty cents. Another two or three cars, and we ought to have plenty. See? Now, come on, push. <laughs> Somebody had moved into the old Matthews house. Neither did I. But whoever did sure needs a car wash. Come on, let's go see. Hey, Alvin. I just remembered something. Garfield Thatcher said he saw a ghost in there once. I don't believe in ghosts. Neither did Garfield Thatcher until I saw one. All the way here. Ghost. Get the buzzer. Someone's coming. Good afternoon. My associates and I, with the help of a brand new scientific car washing invention, are prepared to transform your automobile into one of the most... beautiful things in the world. Sounds great. How much is it? Well, we usually charge you about a dollar and a half. But your car's pretty dirty. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Well, I just recently moved in and haven't had much time to get at it. Oh, I'm Kathy Martin. I'm Alvin Bernal. And this is my best friend... <laughs> I mean, my best friend, Chewy. <laughs> and this is my sister, Daffy. I'm her brother. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy, pleased to meet you, ma'am. Daffy? Hi. And Alvin. Two dollars be fair? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Wait right here and I'll go in and get it. Boy, Alvin, you really came unglued. Do you feel sick? Yeah, he's sick. Love sick. No, no, no. What do you mean? Come on, we got work to do. Uh, Daffy, uh, hook up the hose and Shuey, uh, start pulling the rack over the car. <laughs> $2. And thank you. Thank you, Miss Martin. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I will. That's very nice of you. See you later. <sighs> I sure hope so. Do you want more water this time, Alvin? Alvin? What? Do you want more water this time? Yeah, that's a good idea, Dad. <clears throat> 
What about the soap bath? Should we leave it the same? No, let's turn it up and make this one an extra good job. Why should we? Yeah, Alvin. Mrs. Pillow's cup was much dirtier than this, and we didn't give her exercise. Because, uh, because Miss Martin is paying more, so we should give her our super deluxe job. Now, come on, you two, let's get at it. You ready, Daft? Yeah, just a sec. <laughs> Ready, Shuey? Ready. Engine. <laughs> to do the insides, too. Oh, that's okay, Miss Martin. They were easy. Sure looks great. Thanks. Well, I guess that just about does it. And I'm sorry again for all the trouble, Miss Martin. Forget it. It was an accident. You may help you with those? All right, Alvin, you can. If you do me a favor first. Sure, you name it, Miss Martin. How about just calling me Kathy? Alvin? Alvin, is that all right with you? Oh, sure, that'll be fine. Just fine. Kathy. Okay. Dust those off and put them in those boxes. I'm trying to get a bit of color in this old house. How long have you lived here? Seven or eight weeks now. Well, I guess I just didn't notice you moved in. Well, I put in a full week at the bank, and then I've been out of town on the weekends. Well, it's a little late, but... Welcome to River, Kathy. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Alvin. Did you know there's a carnival opening tonight? Yes, one of the girls at the bank mentioned it the other day. Are you gonna go? No. I can take you. Well, uh... I mean, uh, would you like to go with me? Yes, I would. I'd like that very much. Great. Uh, I don't drive, but it's not far from here. Well, I'll meet you there. 7.30. How about that? Sure, that sounds just fine. Would you like to bring your sister and Shuey along? Well, I don't want to, but I'll bet they'll be there anyway. Sounds fun. Yeah.
Oh, Alvin, would you get the front door? Tell whoever it is I'll be right there. I'll get the back door. Okay. Oh, hi, Shuey. Come on in. Hi, Mrs. Fernald. Is Alvin home? I was just helping Kathy with some housework. Did you and Daffy get the car washer back to the house okay? Yeah, I helped Mr. Exley with mail. And then Daffy went over and apologized. Why don't I got work to do? I know, but he's just a boy. He's not going to get in your way. What if I make a noise, Donnie? I don't want nobody snooping around. Do you understand? Now, you get rid of him. All right. Go ahead and get started. Well, do it, do it. I'll get him to leave. Was Mr. Exley mad? Yeah, kinda. He couldn't stop sneezing. He said he was allergic to soap suds. Hi, Shuey. Hi, Miss Martin. Look, boys, I'm afraid you're gonna have to go now. Uh, my uh, kid brother just got into town on leave, and he only has a short stay before he has to be back on base, so... Uh... Oh, we understand. We should be going anyway. Thanks a lot for all the help, Alvin. See you tonight at 7.30, right? Right. See you then, Kathy. Come on, Shuey. kid brother on Spider-Man. What do you mean? I saw him going to the bat, and he was dressed more like a plumber than a service man. So, uh, maybe Secret Service? With a shovel and a toolbox? Why would Kathy lie? I don't know. Maybe. And when did it become Kathy? And what is this about you two meeting tonight? I'm taking her to the carnival. We've got a date. Do you know how much that's gonna cost you? Boy. Well, I'd keep a close eye on her if I were you. I plan to. No! I mean something fishy's going on here, Alvin. This is her house, and she... Shuey, you're beginning to sound just like Daffy. Come on. But... And another thing. He doesn't even look like her. He's short and dark, and she's kind of skinny and pale. Kid brother my foot. He's old enough to be her father.
am about to complete my most daring experiment. Even now, my faithful servant Marco is about to unearth the last important ingredient. Tonight, we shall see our creature come to life. Now, I must make ready. creature, an undefined body, <laughs> but a body that needs to be repaired somehow. Did you build him, sir? No, I bought him about eight or nine years ago. <laughs> I guess he's just wearing out. I bet you Alvin can fix him. Who? Oh, I'm Alvin, sir, Alvin Fernald. This is my sister Daffy and this is Shuey. Alvin? Shuey? Uh, my real name is Daphne, Professor. Daphne? My, what a romantic name. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Daphne. I am Professor Dimitrik, also known as Abner Debney, at your command. Wow! You know, if you'd lower the air pressure and add a two-way slide belt, 
I'll bet you can make something like this walk. Say, do you sound like you know a little bit about monster making? Oh, he's great. He's invented all kinds of mechanical stuff. He has? Yeah, and I call him Alvin Magnificent. <laughs> oh, really? Well, uh, Mr. Magnificent, what do you think? Alvin? You all right? Oh, he's just in one of his trances, Mr. Gedney. That's how he does his thinking. Oh. I've got it. Mr. Denny, would you let me use my robot in place of your monster? It's battery powered with the Wilson audio circuit. And it's totally remote controlled by two seven... Whoa, slow down. He, you have a robot? He sure does. And he made it himself. And it really works. It needs a few adjustments. But with your costume and mask, he could be a brand new Wang Doodle monster. Well, I don't know, Alvin. It sounds... Look, I tell you what. Why don't you bring him by tomorrow and let, let me see him, okay? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, and get permission from your parents. If he works. Uh, what do you say if I give you $10 a day, okay? You bet. You got a deal, Mr. Desi. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You sure. Oh, no, I almost forgotten about meeting Kathy. We gotta go, Mr. Dedney. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Alvin. Bye. Bye, Shuey. Bye. Bye, Daphne. <laughs>
Well, I don't know. He doesn't look like a brother. That's what I said. I'm telling you, Alan, something's going on here. Maybe he's bothering her or something. They look pretty friendly to me. I think we should tell somebody about it, Alvin. That was an awful big gun he had. Well, tomorrow when we bring the robot over, we'll do a little investigating to see if we can find out something about him. And her. Changing the controls around a little bit. I bet you he's eight feet tall. And with Mr. Debney's stuff, he'll be the scariest wang doodle monster ever. Come on, Shuey. Let's finish him up and get him over to the carnival. Dead, dead, dead. 
that thing could have wiped out my whole act here, Bernie. I'm awful sorry, Mr. Debbie. You just short-circuited. We'll help clean up. You bet you will. And when I get a final accounting, you're gonna pay for it all, too. Don't worry about it, Bernie. I'll take care of it. That thing could put me out of business. Come on, Vince. Give me a hand. You sure did make a mess, Alvin. Yeah, maybe you and Chewie better go clean that up. Oh, that's okay, kid. I'll get some of the roughies to do it. What can we do to help, Mr. Debney? Well, about the most important thing right now is to get our star attraction here back in order. Looks like the wiring system is the only thing broken. Oh, boy. Think you can get it working again by tomorrow? Yes, sir, I think so. Good. I'll tell you what, I'll get somebody to help you move them. And don't you worry about it, kids. I mean, it, it's just an accident. It really looks worse than it is. Will you need some help with him at home? No, thanks, Chewie. Once we get him to the workshop, Daffy and I can do it. But I think I'll do a little snooping around like we said. Hey, I forgot all about that. Well, I didn't. While you two are inventing, I'll handle the investigating. for the magician at the carnival. You're kidding. Nope. And I just saw them both sneaking something in the back door at Miss Martin's house. Yeah? What was it? It looked like some kind of big, heavy box. That magician guy is over at Kathy's house? I wonder what he's doing there. She can't like him. I don't know, but, uh, we should go over there and do a little snooping around, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, Chewie. I'll just get my extendable reach all multi-purpose boom mic in case we need it. Wait a minute. Didn't we use this thing once before? Now, that was an old model. We'll you see what this one can do. I hope it looks better than the last time. Way, Alvin, just in case you know who's snooping around. Okay, it's shorter anyway. an open window, so we're gonna have to adjust for overhead. What does that mean? I'll explain. It means you're gonna take this boom mic and climb up higher. How come I always get the tough part? I don't want to climb any higher. Hey, Alvin, I will. Oh, no. How do you always know where we are? Hi. Hi. Shh. What are you doing here? I came to help you. I'll climb up higher, Alvin. No, you won't. All right, Alvin, what do you want me to do? Just climb up to the highest branch and extend the pole until it reaches the chimney. Then feed out the line and lower the mic down into the fireplace in the living room. Then what? Then just drop the extension and Daph and I will plug in down here so we can hear. Now go on. Sure. I do all the work and you get to listen. It just ain't fair. I gotta lug this 50-pound fishing pole up this tree while you have all the fun down there. How come I always get the dirty jobs? Now, when I get to the bank at 10, you'll be there, huh? Yes, I'll be there. And you'll be at the right window? Yes. Don't worry about me. I've done my part so far, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, you've done great. And if we all just stay cool, this thing will come off like clockwork. You know, Vince? Mm-hmm. 
I've been thinking. Maybe you and Birdbrain here can handle this without me. Why don't I just meet you at the airport? Oh, no way, sweetheart. Not now. We need you at the bank tomorrow. And besides, you're up to your pretty little neck in this. Just like we are. Yeah, just uh, one big happy family. This is a sweet deal. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I've waited a long time for this one. Yeah, when we robbed that bank tomorrow, the Hicks and his little bird won't know what hit him. <sighs> and then it's Acapulco all the way. And I don't want to see another rabbit in a hat as long as I live. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you and your rabbits. <laughs> hey, what's in the fireplace? Quick, Sue, we pull it back, fast! <laughs> Didn't you see that? Huh? Please, I think there might be something on the roof. Oh, yeah? Let's go take a look. They're coming out. Take this and hide over there. Please, should we just freeze? Anything, Ernie? No, but I'm sure hearing funny noises. Ah, uh, it's probably just a cat. Come on, we got to get back for the nine o'clock show. I don't know, Vince. Maybe we ought to look Come around. Come on, will you? Your nerves are just a little edgy. Get going. Where are we going, Alvin? To the police station to tell Captain Moody. Captain Moody? Why are we going to the police station? To tell him about the bank robbery tomorrow. The bank robbery? What bank robbery? The magician, that other guy. Weren't you listening? Come on. Yeah, I was listening, but I, I didn't hear anything. Hey! Fifteen two, fifteen four, fifteen six. A pair is eight, and the right one is nine. And out. I am really getting the cars tonight, Jim. Hey, Chief, you guys gotta roll the train. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I can't understand a word anybody's saying. I heard it, Chief. It's a four eleven at the bank. We better get on this. You get your own sorry? Wait, 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 wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, nobody's going any place. Or we'll get back over here. Alvin, would you please repeat to me what you just said slowly? We heard two men making plans to rob the bank tomorrow. What two men? They're with the carnival. Yeah, and one of them is the great Macaroni. She means Maroni. He's the magician, and the other guy's his helper. How did you hear all this? Well, uh, we were kind of testing this bugging device of mine. It's an invention, and Alvin invented it. Well, that's a violation of code 244. You simply can't go around bugging for fun. Orville, Orville, please. 
Now, kids, are you sure this just isn't something you, you made up among yourselves? Honest, Chief Moody, we heard them talking. We saw them both with guns. Yeah. Hmm. Does, uh, anyone else know anything about this? No, no sir. All right. We'll take care of it from here on. Now, kids, I don't want any of you to say anything to anyone about this. Not a soul. Do you understand? Yes, sir. What's the plan, Chief? Well, tomorrow morning, you and I are going to have a little banking business to take care of, Orville. And when the two gentlemen arrive, we are going to be ready for them. Good idea. Get some descriptions. All right. Let's see, Daffy. You're blonde. About three foot eleven. Right? Orville. Not them. Oh. Oh! Will you put that puzzle away? Gee, I almost had it. Just get down to the other table. Don't bunch up. Put your sunglasses on. You want somebody to recognize you? I hooked him back up. He's all set. Well, then let's get downtown. I don't want to miss seeing a real life bank robbery. They can't rob a bank and be here, too. Yeah, dummy. And besides, Chief Moody said not to poke around while. Shh. Hold it, you two. Someone's coming. Hey, there's Ernie again. Yeah, boy. What a dude. Get along with those threats. Wonder where that magician guy is. Look at that cane. I bet you it's a gun or something. He's probably gonna... Hey, watch out. They're coming this way. Duck down. You see all those other guys in there with them? Yeah. I wonder if that whole car is on its way to the bank. Your kid, that's an army. Yeah, and it makes about ten against two. That's not fair. Come on, we better try to beam them down and warn the chief. Follow me. We can cook on the near street. Save two blocks. Hey, you guys. Wait up. Hey, did Danga get a hit last night, Orville? Yeah, he got two for four and scored up. A... Here, you read it. Back at the 130 show, huh? Take it easy. Uh. Hey, 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 you all right, little one? Chewy! Now, this is what I call one flat cotton candy, huh? But don't cry. You happen to be in luck because I know the lady that makes this stuff. Really? Yeah. I bet I could get it to make you a super big cotton candy to replace this uh, flat one here. Really? Really. I'm with the carnival. Now, the next time you come out there, you look me up, all right? And we'll take care of this. For sure. For sure. Okay. Now, you have a nice day, sweetheart. And uh, I'll see you later, all right? Bye. Bye. Were you scared? What'd he say? What did you say? Well, first he... Hey, Alvin, look! He's had a glass of the bank! Come and on, this is this! Well, what about me? Hurry up! Here, 
There he is, Chief. Just like our informants described. Male Caucasian, 5'8", about 150 pounds. Let's get him. Get back over there and watch for my signal. checking the signature. What for? So we can get into a safe deposit box. Dad took me with them once. You mean they're gonna go right into the vault? This must be it. exactly what they said. We better get out of here. Come on, Jap, let's go. All right, you three, hold it right there. Hi, Deputy Scurf, you on your vacation? Never mind about that now. All right, you three, what do you got to say for yourselves? Well, I'm waiting. I guess it was just uh, some sort of mix-up. Well, my guess is you made up this whole bank robbery story just so you could play a little game. But, Chief, we really did. Please, Alvin, and no buts about it. I mean, this is serious business. You know, children, giving false information is a violation of Statute 976. Seven. And if right, if we were to take you down to the... Station. Station, we'd have to book you on a variety of jobs. All right, all huh? right, Orville. I'm sure that's enough criminal law. They, they, they realize what they've done. Are you going to send us to jail? No. 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 But don't let me ever catch you meddling in police business again. Now, do you understand me? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, get on out of here. And no more monkey business. Kids. Well, Orville, let's get back to the old grind. <laughs> Wasn't he? Yeah, but I wonder what went wrong, though. Why didn't he rob the bank? I don't know. And that Marooney guy never did show up. I guess we must have just heard him wrong. Yeah, I guess so. What should we do now? Well, maybe we should just forget about it. No! You don't want to give up just because of one little setback, do you? Well, no, but... And we don't want him to get away with robbing the bank, do we? No way. I've got almost seven dollars in that bank. Well, then, let's not just give up on it. Let's stick together and figure this thing out. All right! How? You just leave it to me. Well, we got to get us some concrete proof so Chief Moody will believe us. And I think I got just what we need. Thank you. 
close the door, stand still. Hmm. Okay. Alan, are you there? Sure, I've been waiting for you. I'm testing my SSNS. Your what? My new invention. Come on down, you're part of it. I am? What's that? Just keep on coming. I'll show you when you're down here. Ah! You okay, Shuey? Yeah, I think so. That's some test. I didn't plan it that way. Now we get to see how my invention handles fashion stuff. What is that? Hey, they're blank. Listen here, Alvin. If you want to try that again, you better get yourself another boy. No, no, they have to cook for a minute. Alvin, is it safe to come down? Sure, Dad, all clear. Mother and I are just about ready to leave. You all set? Yes, sir. Okay, here's a couple of dollars to help keep Daffy busy, but uh, don't let her stray too far. Don't worry, Mr. Fernald. I'm sure she won't. All right, we'll be at the Barlow's if you need us. And right home after that last show, okay? Yes, sir. Have fun, kids. Good night. Bye, Dad. Good night, Mr. Fernald. Bye, Dad. Where'd these come from? Oh, I just took them with my super scooter night snooper. How'd they turn out? Hey, it worked. That's really neat. How'd you do it in the dark, Alvin? Infrared filter. You see, it's mounted here in front of the lens, and you don't need any light. It's remote controlled. These suction cups on the treads will let me send it anywhere. It's a classic. I think this one is really useful. Oh, sure. I'm upside down. Would you do it again? I missed it. Are you kidding? I about broke my neck. Got a lot of work to do. Should we pick up the stuff on that tray, will ya? You sure don't need any more help with that remote control. You really had to move it. You have the best show in the whole carnival. Thanks to you three, I do. Oh, well, uh, I better take the receipts over to Mr. Thornis. Well, why don't you put Mr. Big to bed for tonight? <laughs> sure. And, uh, thanks again for saving my job. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boy, he sure is a nice man. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of my Uncle Marvin. He was always... Well, come alive. on, Chewie, we gotta hurry. Plug him in for recharge and Dad, get the lights. Where are we gonna start, Alvin? We wanna get inside their trailer and look around. Hey, good idea. meet a guy here in a few minutes. I can't. It's business. I can't. But you promised. But I can't. I mean... Okay. Come on. We gotta make it snappy, though. Yeah, okay. You said Superman. And I thought Billy Miller was one 
lipstick just yesterday. <laughs> you heard it, Peanuts. Pile it out for the little lady. <laughs> hey, Alan. These things aren't solid at all. See, they have a little crack here, and you can split this one. We're right not out. looking for tricks. We're looking for evidence. Now, will you put those things down and find something we can use? Ernie! Who's your friend? Oh, this is Daffy. She fell on a cotton candy. I promised I'd... Ask some brat bugging me for cotton candy. Beat it, kid. I'm busy now, honey. I'll talk to you later, okay? Now. What? What? I just wanted to thank you one more time before you go into the trailer. Okay, okay, we hate it. Thanks. Now beat it, huh? <sighs> Get rid of that thing. Get the explosive set? Yeah, everything's taken care of. What to do with the equipment? I left it all in Kathy's cellar. To get the tickets? Yeah, right here next to my heart. Uh, give them to me. It's going to be a lot safer in here. Everything's shaping up just fine. Let's go and entertain the uh, customers. Grab my hat, stay in the closet. Come on, Twinkle Toes. Save that for later. Oh, good luck. Here we come. Da -da -da. All clear. Let me in. Holy. That was a close one. Thanks for the warning, Gaff. That's okay, Alvin. What'd you find out? They were talking about some stuff in Kathy's cellar. Which kind of ties her in, I'd say. We don't know that. And they said they've set some explosives. I bet you they're gonna blow up the whole bank. Really? I guess we better get over to Kathy's and see if we can find something in her cellar. Turn off the light, Daffy. 
here. Give us a hand, Dad. Vince? How'd it go? Zero. Ah, it's not easy with such small crowds. Ah, it's a lousy night all over. Why don't you close up shop? Everyone else is. We'll make it up tomorrow. Saturday is always a big day. Will do. Thanks, Bernie. Well, now, it looks like Mr. Carnival Man just did us a very big thing, huh? How right you are. In an hour from now, you're going to be a very rich man. I could hardly wait. Let's go get it. I figured right, this is third and mirrors. And the bank's are just around that corner. I hope that thought it's around the corner. What's that? Shine your light up on the ceiling. It's wire and dynamite. Now that's what I call evidence. Boy, is Chief Moody going to be surprised to see this? Yeah, if we ever get to him in time. What do you mean? Well, I've been thinking, Shuey. They said they were going to rob the bank today, right? Yeah. Well, it's still today. It doesn't become tomorrow until midnight. Maybe they're going to do it after the carnival closes tonight. Well, then let's get out of here. No, we got to get a couple of pictures first. Give me some light. Look out. Look out for what? All right, all right. So we're a little early. Don't panic. I'm not. I just want to know if anything else has changed. Not a thing. Now, you just go and finish packing and meet us in 15 minutes. What a worry one. Never mind about her. Give me a hand with this mattress. Okay, okay. Ah. Come on, let's get going. Grab the tools. I got it, I got it. Come on, Alvin, haven't you got enough yet? I just had to make sure they came out okay. They're okay, they're okay. Let's get out of here. think so. Come on, we better back on. Watch the ladder, bitch. It's just around the corner. Well, Vince, how does it look? Looks perfect. Where's the detonator? Right in here. Detonator? It's gonna blow it right now. Let's hook up. Set up around the corner. Right? Oh. Did you bring any flash? Right there in the bag. Pull the ladder back. Got it. Got it. Good luck. 
Kathy. Go give her a hand. What are you two doing down here? Oh, nothing. We were just playing around. Alvin? We know about the bank robbery, Kathy. And that you're in on it. Why did you two have to get mixed up in this? Do you know what they'll do if they catch you? They don't have to catch us. You can let us go. Yeah, we won't tell on you. You're not even in our pictures. Pictures? What pictures? These. See, we only have Ernie and that magician guy in them. Kathy, is that you? Back it up, quick. Move. Hey, what are these kids doing down here? Nothing, Ernie. Nothing, my foot. We're just playing around, mister. We aren't going to tell anybody. Do you know what the cops would do with these pictures? We better all go have a talk with Vince. But Ernie... No buts, sweetheart. Let's move. That's you, too. Come on, move. Paul, come on. Well, it took you so long. We got a lot of work to do. Here, Shut up, I'll do the talking. Oh, come on, cut it out. Hey, what's going on here? Who are these kids? I found a three of down in the tunnel looking at these pictures here. Oh, give me those. Well, well, well. Looks like you three have been doing a little detective work, hmm? We took them ourselves. She didn't have anything to do with it. Vince, you don't think for a minute that I... No. Oh, no, actually I don't, Kathy, but... Uh... Well, it really doesn't make any difference. What are you talking about? Let me tell her, Vincent. Let me tell her. Well, it's like this, pretty lady. You see, tonight when we get to the airport, you're going to have a little accident. And by the time you come to, Vince and I are going to be long gone. You never did plan on cutting me in, did you? Vince, I'll sing so loud you won't. Oh, no, you won't. No, if you squeal on us, you squeal on yourself. And that you won't do. Don't be so sure. Well, even if you do, so what? You won't even know what direction we went, let alone what country. <laughs> All right, now, if you and your junior detectives will just uh, step aside, we'll proceed. Oh. All right. Now, behave. Finish that row, they're all open. Yeah, yeah. Well, you look at these. At these. Bingo. Come on, quit drooling and fill up those bags. I'm filling, I'm filling. Here, get those big ones on top. Though. Sorry, Shuey. What a sorry, oh, what? It's not bad. This is all your fault. I told you we shouldn't have come here. What are you doing? Look who's shoving me. What does it for me? You ready? All set. What are you going to do with the boys? Oh, you're all going for a little ride with us. Now stop asking questions. Get moving. Come on, move, move. Make it all day. Uh -huh. Station, uh -huh. Hold on, Ethel. 
That's right. Bryan Street branch of the Riverton National Bank. There seems to be a 411 in progress. We're going to need at least one unit and two backup men. 10 4. with me to get our stuff from the trailer. Right. Okay, now it's your turn. Give me your hand, Chief. My guess is they came in through here. Oh. What happened? They got me from behind, Fitz. They got the loot. They got away. You dunce! I can't even leave you with a couple of kids! Get in there. Which way'd they go? I don't know. I... We gotta get that money back.
got an offense. That will bring the whole town down on us. Thanks for taking the call. We'll get it right on it. Chief. Man. Chief. No sign of him anywhere. I don't... Hey, will you look at that? Huh? Isn't that pretty? Wonder where it's coming from. Will you get in the car? Right, Chief. Your car. The kids call from the carnival. They've already got the bank robbers. Everybody to the carnival. Go three. Ten, five.
1849, Frank Mary Henry, 712, 1A46 clear, 1A79 interference. Alvin, I'm sorry. I understand, Miss Martin. If that is your real name. It is. And Alvin, please, it's still Kathy to you. Okay? people back to your folks. Come on.